Exploring Irregular Verbs, a Key to English Mastery. Hello learners, welcome back to another episode of our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we are going to dive into the world of common irregular verbs. Unlike regular verbs, which follow a predictable pattern, irregular verbs can be a bit tricky because they don't stick to the same past and past participle forms. However, with practice and memorization, you'll get the hang of them. So, let's get started. Irregular verbs are a vital part of English grammar. These are verbs that do not follow the regular conjugation patterns in the past tense or past participle forms. For example, while a regular verb like jump becomes jumped in the past tense, an irregular verb like go changes to went in the past tense. It can seem a bit tricky at first, but with practice, you'll soon become familiar with these forms. Remember, practice is key when it comes to mastering irregular verbs. Now, let's move on to some examples. Here are some common irregular verbs in the present tense. Be, have, do, go, say. Remember, the present tense form of these verbs is used to describe things that are happening now habitual actions, or general truths. Let's see how these verbs change in the past tense. Be to was, were, have to had, do to did, go to went, say to said. In the past tense, these verbs are used to describe actions that have already been completed. Now, Let's take a look at these verbs in their past participle forms. Be to been, have to had, do to done, go to gone, say to said. The past participle form of these verbs is used in perfect tenses and passive voice. The best way to remember these irregular verbs is through practice. Try writing sentences using each of these verbs in their present, past, and past participle forms. This active engagement will help these verbs stick in your memory, making them easier to use in the future. Well, that's a wrap on today's lesson on common irregular verbs. Remember, English is filled with irregular verbs, so keep practicing and you'll soon feel comfortable using them. We hope this video was helpful. Stay curious, keep learning, and we'll see you in our next episode. Happy studying!